In my first lesson on the tritone scale, I showed you how you can construct a tritone scale for a dominant and use that as a sort of altered dominant sound. But there's actually a different tritone scale that also works, and that's what I'm going to go over in this lesson. my first lesson on the tritone scale, uh, I talked about how you construct a tritone scale by using two major triads that are tritone apart. So that means if you want to have a tritone scale for a D7, you would take a D major triad and an A flat major triad and combine those two to make a scale. And those notes, those six notes would be this. Uh, and maybe you can already hear that this is a subset of, um, of the diminished scale which means that we actually can use um, another subset of the diminished scale too, because the diminished scale can be seen as being constructed out of four major triads. So in this case the A flat, D, B and F. But um, we are only using the A flat and the D, but actually the B and the F are also tritone apart. That means that they can make a tritone scale too. Uh, and that would be this scale. And even though this scale doesn't contain a D, you can still use it as a sound over your D7 flat 9 13 chord, um, mainly because it's a subset of the diminished scale, which you can anyway use on a, on a chord like that. And uh, you can maybe use that exact set to make some interesting sounds. The examples that I'm going to use in this lesson are all going to be on a 2-5-1 in the key of G major. So that means there's A minor 7, D7 flat 9, and G major 7. If we take the, the tritone scale that I just talked about, so uh, this one, and then just try and look at what does it contain if we re relate it to a D7, then um, let's just take this middle set of strings. So here we have an A, that's the fifth. The B is a 13, C is a flat 7, D sharp or E flat is a flat 9, F is uh, the sharp 9, and F sharp is of course a third. So that means that we have sort of the core of the sound. We still have like third and seventh, and then we have flat 9, sharp 9, and 13 as extensions. So we have some sort of D7 with a flat 9 or a sharp 9 and a 13. And that's the kind of sound that we're going to get out of using this tritone scale uh, over, over a D7 when it's resolving to D. The first example sounds like this. So, fairly simple. The, the beginning part of the A minor line is of course just this chromatic uh, enclosure of uh, or encircling of the C, so the third of the A minor, and from there I go up a C major triad, and then on the D7, I'm just first using these two notes just to go around and encircle the B, and from here I just play the two triads, so D major and F major. Resolving to G, which is the third of G major, uh, B, which is the third of G major. The second example sounds like this. So the A minor line is first a C major seven drop two voicing, and then just running down the scale, and then on the D seven, instead of using the triads, now I'm using the the dominant seventh arpeggios, which are also part of the tritone scale, so I'm playing B7 B, uh, and then F7, and then resolving that to the fifth of G, which is a D. The third example sounds like this. So here I'm first using again a C major seven arpeggio on the A minor, but then not as a drop two, just as a straight. So the C major 7 arpeggio, descending, a scale one, and then I'm using this sort of bluesy shape that you can use symmetrically on, on the tritone scale, which is sort of this. 
this movement from the fifth to the root via the seventh on first the B and then on the on the F. And then so to get away from using it too symmetrically, uh, I'm uh, I'm making one of them a trill. And then resolving that with a slide down to the fifth of G, which is a There are three examples of how you can use this tritone scale to make some dominant lines on a 251. Uh, if you want to look a little bit more thoroughly at uh, the different kind of exercises and the different kind of structures you can pull out of the tritone scale, you should check out the first tritone scale lesson that I already made. Uh, I've already linked to it as a card and it's also there's a link in the, in the description. Uh, if you want to download a PDF of the examples that I went over here, then uh, you can go to my website. There's a PDF download in the article that's accompanying this lesson. Uh, on my website you can also subscribe to my newsletter if you want to stay up to date with all the other stuff that I'm doing, such as uh, playing uh, gigs with my band or uh, recording stuff, or if there's a new lesson coming in my web store. Uh, if you have any comments or suggestions for topics or anything similar, then please leave a comment on, my, on the video. Or uh, connect with me on social media. I'm on Facebook or uh, Twitter or Instagram or Google+. Um, and of course feedback and uh, suggestions are always welcome. It's nice to hear what you guys want to hear lessons about. And it's also nice to get some feedback so that I can make the lessons more like you want them. That's about it for this week. Thank you for watching and uh, until next week.